Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking locking plate using AutoCAD. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have here is I've already got a title blocked document. Now, if you don't have a title block on your page, then you'll have to go and watch the previous videos that will show you how to draw the title block. Once you have your title block, you can then put in your name, the title, the date and the drawing number. You don't really need these symbols because we're just creating a recreation of this. Once you've got that, then the next thing you need to do is you need to set up your unit. So you can just write UN, press enter and now you can have your drawing unit. So the precision I like to use is two decimal places. So just make sure that you choose that or you can choose whatever you like. And I'm using the international way. So the metric way of measuring things. So I'm just gonna press okay. Once we've got that, then we need to set up our page. So I'm just gonna write PAG for page setup. And I've got my layout here and I'm just gonna modify this layout. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that we're in the AutoCAD PDF high quality uh, printer. And then the paper size, I'm choosing the ISO expand a four in the landscape orientation. Now you have to make sure that the scale that we are using, we're gonna be using a one-to-one -one scale. So you can leave that, but just make sure that one millimeter is equal to one unit. Once you have that all set up, then you're ready to start drawing. So now to start drawing, we have to look at the size of this plate here. So you can see from this point to this point, it would be 130 mils. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start by putting that in. So I'm just gonna write 130. I'm just gonna press enter and then I'm gonna press escape to uncancel it. The other thing I wanna mention is you should have a look at the snaps that you need. So for example, I'm gonna to start to turn on all of these snaps for now because some of them will be important to draw this uh, diagram and the other thing that you should make sure before you actually get started is you want to be in ortho mode so you can either press f8 or just click this icon down here so once we've got that now i can find the midpoint by just moving the mouse cursor on top of it so that triangle is the midpoint now i've got two circles in here one with a diameter of 40 and one with a diameter of 60. so i'm going to do the one with the 40 first so i'm going to set it to a radius of 20 and then i'm going to do the same thing again grab circle and then this one is going to be set at a radius of 30 which will give us a diameter of 60. so now we've got those two shapes then what we need to do is we need to find out where to put this circle and this circle so you can see here that if the distance from this point to this point is 130, you're left with 30 from this side and this side. So you will have to divide 30 by two, which will give you 15 in, and then you can draw that those two circles. So I'm just gonna grab this point and I'm just gonna write 15 just to find the line. And then I'm gonna press escape. So now, that point there is where I'm gonna draw my circle from. So I'm just gonna start it there. And that circle has a diameter of 14. So I'm just gonna set that to seven. And now that we've got that, we can do the same for the other side. So I'm just gonna grab this point. I'm gonna go in 15 and then I'm gonna press escape, grab the circle tool, and then I'm going to set it to seven. So that's looking pretty cool. Now we need to get this curve happening here. And so this has a radius of 15. So to do that, what we need to do is we've already marked in 15 from the edge. So I'm just gonna grab the circle and I'm gonna draw it out to the edge and then I'm just gonna press okay. And then I'm gonna grab the circle again and do it from the other side, just so I can get those two points. And now we're pretty you know, much complete with this drawing. All we have to do is just match up the lines together. So now once we draw the lines, it's not as simple as just grabbing the line and drawing it because that is not exactly what we want. We want this line to match up and join this part over here. So we can do it from this side if we find the midpoint and then we can find the tangent over here, but it doesn't work on this side. So what we need to do is we need to remove some of the snap settings. So really the only one that we need on is the tangent. So I'm just gonna turn off all the others. And once I've done this, I can go back to the line tool, all right? And then I can find the point and then I can join it to the 
point over here. And because of that snap setting, you can see that it creates that nice line just like that. And so now we're going to do the same for all the sides. Now you don't even have to be accurate here because the snap settings are on, it will kind of join it all for you. Now when you do want the snap settings back on, all you have to do is just come down and put them back on as you need. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to now tidy it up. So we're just going to grab the trim tool and we're going to get rid of all the stuff that we don't need. So we don't need this line, we don't need that line. We also don't need all of this. So we can get rid of that. We can get rid of that, get rid of that, and also get rid of that. And then we do the same on the other side. So we can get rid of all of these things. Get rid of this line and also that line there and that line there. So that's using the trim tools. The final thing we are going to do to this drawing is to just add the center points. So what we need to do is we need to come over to annotate and we can go and find the center mark and we can just put them in just like that. And if you wanted to add dimensions, you also can add dimensions. So now the final thing is if you want to add dimensions, you'll need to go back to home, find the dimensions and find where you want to add the dimensions to. So if I wanted to add a dimension from this side to this side, you can see that it's 130 and you can put in any other dimensions that you want. You can put dimensions for the radius and the diameter on the circles and whatever you need. So before you finish up, the next thing that you have to worry about is to just make sure that your name is on the title block and you've listed your drawing number and also the date. So anyways guys, that's it for this quick tutorial on how to do your first you know, 2D practice drawing, which is this base plate or locking plate. And yeah, and that's about it. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I will see you guys next time.